So here we have one of the hardy catalpa trees. There's two different species, the northern and the southern. This one's probably northern. Big, huge, heart-shaped leaves, sometimes mistaken for the leaves of princess or polonia tree. But the blooms are completely different and should these get pollinated, and again, it's a lot of rich blooms. They're actually a beautiful, beautiful tree, though, which is why it was planted. A large shade tree, huge leaves, beautiful flowers, and then later on it has these, I don't know if I call them decorative, but these big pods um, that it forms with the seeds inside. Um, sometimes this gives them the name, and here's, here's the seeds inside of here. Um, sometimes that gives this tree the name of cigar tree. Whether or not people smoke them, I've heard stories, but this is definitely not something that people really want to smoke. But catalpas are an escape from cultivation. They are native to the United States, but not native to here. Uh, but they're pretty well established now. They've escaped into the woods. Don't seem to cause any massive kind of trouble. But, um, but a big old shade tree that's now naturalized itself outside of its normal range, planted because of its beauty, because of its shade potential with these giant leaves, and because of the cigar-like bean pods that this thing produces. And as you can see, it is a beautiful tree. Can get medium-sized, large, very large leaves, covered in flowers, hardy catalpa, this one's probably northern catalpa, one of our native, one of our na uh, native but not locally native flowering trees.